So let's take up uh, one by one. The first is uh, backward learning bridges. So this, so we said there are two algorithms for transparency. I mean, uh, for source routing bridge, uh, transparent bridges. One is uh, backward learning algorithm used, and the other is spanning tree for source routing. So but let's uh, learn backward learning algorithm or backward learning bridges. Okay, also these are simply called learning bridges. So please understand that uh, bridges operate in promiscuous mode. Bridges operate, let me write first this point otherwise, operate at data link layer in promiscuous mode. Promiscuous mode means, as I said earlier, it see all the packets, all the frames which are coming on to the ports of the bridge, right? So seeing all this, all the, all the packets arriving on the ports, that is called promiscuous mode. That is, it accepts every frame transmitted by the stations attached to each of its ports, post, ports each of its port and then the bridge has to decide whether to forward or discard each frame and uh, in the earlier case like uh, if it is supposed to forward uh, forward the frame not the discard then which port it should forward so for that purpose as i said like in in the presentation i have already shown you once again i am telling you okay in the presentation like if you consider if you are transmitting the uh, frame from a to b then since it is uh, this bridge is operating in promiscuous mode so it will see the frame coming from A. It will. So it is not supposed to forward. It is supposed to discard. Why? Because it is lying in the same land. It is not lying in the other land. So it has to discard. On the contrary, if host A is sending, desire to send it to host E. Host A want to send it to host E. So host A will send the frame by putting its address and then it will output it onto port 1. So bridge will see this. Okay. So bridge knows that this is not present in the same land here it is to be forwarded to port 4. So from 4 it comes here. From 4 this bridge understand that this, this destination is present at uh, this port. So it will forward the frame on to port 1 so that it can reach. Suppose if it is supposed to go to E then it will forward it on to port 2 so that. So that means that means bridges must have must have some kind of tables, some tables as I said, these tables are called hash tables, big hash tables, giving information, giving information as to whether, whether an incoming frame, incoming frame should be, should be forwarded further, forwarded further or to be discarded. So that means there is a process running inside the bridge which is going to make this decision forward or curtail it down, discard it. So the algorithm which is used for learning this is called backward learning algorithm and backward learning algorithm, backward learning algorithm, backward learning algorithm is used to, used to formulate or populate information in the hash table, in the hash table. So every bridge will have this hash table. What is the structure of the hash table we will see shortly. Okay. And the algorithm which is used for furnishing this is called flooding, flooding algorithm. What is flooding? Flooding means every incoming frame will be outputted onto every outgoing port. Every incoming frame will be, out, uh, will be forwarded into outgoing frames so that the frames get flooded in the network so that we can capture the information about all the host. Okay. So a simple way to implement this is to have a hash table that I already told you. Okay. The hash table will have uh, a simple structure. The structure of hash table is very, very simple. The structure of hash table. I'm writing hash table in start will have only two entries like for example destination and then outgoing port number like in respect of the previous diagram in respect of the previous diagram if you see uh, for destination D the output port will be 2 for destination D the output port will be 2 is it not for de uh, for, for like other destination F the output port will be 2 and for A it will be 1 itself output port 1. So that is uh, the hash table. Okay, by means of this hash table structure, uh, we can do this. 
okay uh, so the algorithm of backward learning is based on uh, flooding so what happens is they since they operate in promiscuous mode so they see every frame sent on any any port so by looking at the source addresses they can tell which machines are accessible on which ports like for example if bridge b1 in that figure same figure uh, in the same figure if you consider a bridge b1 right if uh, in the in the same figure uh, this uh, figure number b you consider if bridge b1 sees a frame on port 3 sees a frame on port 3 coming from where coming from c coming from c it knows that c must be reachable via port 3 so what happens immediately in the hash table it will put immediately in the hash table it will put the entry that c is reachable via port 3 so therefore in future if i receive a frame from port number 4 destined for c it will immediately output it onto 4 onto port 3 so that's how very easily it can uh, construct so using the flooding initially initially hash tables are empty so it uses the fl uh, flooding mechanism and tries to keep on updating the page tables updating the hash tables okay so the topology can change like sometimes what happens this host may go on this bridge may goes do, goes around the topology may change machines and bridges are powered up and down and move around so to handle dynamic topologies these hash tables also has to get updated so therefore periodically a, a there will be a process in the bridge there will be a process in the bridge okay uh, a process in the bridge scans the hash table and purges purge means remove remove all those entries which are older entries so therefore the routing procedure for an incoming frame depends on the port it arrives on and the address to which it is destined for and after the after the hash tables have been constructed after the hash tables have been constructed have well been formulated with all the entries the routing procedure used the routing procedure used by bridges backward these are backward learning bridges so hash tables have been pushed up hash tables have been made up made so after that what is the routing procedure there are there are, there are three steps which are followed as part of routing if the port for the destination address let me write if the port of destination address the port of destination address is same as the source source port then simply discard the frame discard the frame like what i'm trying to say for example now for a port number is one for b also port number one for c also port number one now suppose if a is sending to b so what we'll do a with port number one it will send the packet so it bridge b1 see that okay with port number one a packet has come and destination is b the B is also on the same port, so immediately it will discard it. That is what is the meaning of the first point. Very simple, okay? So that is the first point. Otherwise, the port for destination address, if the port, if the port for the destination address, if the port for the destination address, the port for the destination address and the source port, and the source port are different are different then forward the packet forward the frame to destination port what does this mean let me explain through diagram like same thing suppose for example a is the sender this is sender let me select the pen uh, plate select the pen this is my sender now and this is my receiver let us imagine so what happens a will specify in its frame this is a frame let us say source is a destination is e what is the port number of a port number of a is one one so now this frame will come to this right frame will come to this bridge b1 so bridge b1 this is my source this is the destination so b b1 say that destination is destination is e <coughs> destination e so what we b1 will do b1 will have to decide whether to forward this or discard this so for that b will have its hash table this is the hash table of b bridge b1 hash table of bridge b1 so in that it will have one entry per destination so suppose for example this is the entry for destination e 
E know that B1 during the construction of the hash table through flooding mechanism understand that all these hosts D, E, F, G are reachable via port 4. So therefore it will port 4. So what B1 is observing? Host A is on port 1 and destination E is on port 4. They are different. So it will forward the packet to for port 4. So the packet flows through port 4 to arrive at bridge 2. Then, then the bridge 2 will also have its hash table. Also will have hash table bridge 2. Okay. So this will see what is the destination. Okay, packet is coming from A. A is reachable via 4. So 4 it has come. And it see that the destination is E. The E is destined at port 2. So again ports are different. 4 and 2. 4 and 2 it is different. So therefore what it, what it does it forward it here. It forward it here to port 2. Because it will have an entry for E. This will also have an entry for E with port number 2. So this is port number 4, this is port number 2, different. So therefore it will forward here. It will come to hub. Hub will, disc, hub will send the packet to both the uh, host, frames to both the host. Since E is the one which matches with the destination, it will accept. F say it is not the intended receiver, it will discard it. And that's how it get routed. So this is through backward learning process. So here you observe, host is not specifying the route to be taken. Which route is to be taken is not specified by host. So this is not source routing. Through backward learning, we have constructed constructed the hash tables and then we have uh, uh, started the processing of the packets. So that is the uh, meaning of this. So that's how the algorithm of backward learning works. So this is first step, the second step. What is the third and final step? If destination, look at this also an important one. If the destination is unknown, initially the hash table may not have uh, entries for all the destinations. So if the destination is unknown, what shall we do? Immediately we should use flooding, unknown. Then use flooding, use flooding, saying that I want to know where is destination E or destination F. Then whenever the packet reaches through flooding mode to F, F will uh, basically output the frame back. And then when it comes to the bridge, bridge will make an uh, uh, entry in its hash table saying that, okay, so and so host is available on so and so port number. So unknown use flooding, use flooding and send the frame and send the frame send the frame on all outgoing outgoing send the frame on all outgoing ports except the source actually why should not send it back to source why what is the reason okay so that is the meaning of uh, the routing procedure followed in backward learning bridges i hope you understood Right. And uh, generally what happens is as every frame arrives, this algorithm is applied, algorithm with the three step algorithm is applied. All right. And generally these algorithms are embedded in some special chips like uh, VLSI chips, which follow the lookup and update procedure. So uh, what happened, there is one more uh, aspect here, which I wanted to convey to you that because these bridges only look at the MAC addresses. So, and initially the MAC address of source and destination will be specified in the frame. So, as soon as the MAC address is received, immediately you can start processing uh, the, uh, the, 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 the procedure, the routing procedure, immediately you can start the processing. This will reduce the latency or this will reduce the, optimize the time uh, for, forwarding the, for forwarding the packets, okay. So, this procedure is generally called wormhole routing. What is wormhole routing? Wormhole routing means we are not supposed to wait till the whole frame arrives. The bridge can start processing the frame uh, as soon as it start getting the MAC addresses, right? Uh, without waiting for the whole frame to get accumulated in the buffer. As soon as it get the MAC address, it start processing the routing. So this uh, will optimize my time of processing. And hence it, this approach is called wormhole routing and sometimes even called cut through switching, cut through switching. This is just only for optimization, cut through switching, okay? So this is another aspect. Now in terms of uh, protocol, uh, protocol processing at a bridge, how protocol processing is done at the bridge, I have a small uh, presentation, you can again check it, protocol processing at bridge. In terms of protocol layers, let us try to understand how the protocol processing is done. Okay, so let me play again and uh, go further
again this is the protocol protocol this station a station d and they are connected by means of bridge so station a may have any number of layers iso si module layers or maybe tcp ip so here i have physical layer ethernet layer network layer and then above you have bridges since they are data link layer devices will have only two layers physical layer and data link layer so bridge is also there is a small relay present in it which is responsible for making conversions if necessary so a packet descends from uh, application layer to transport to network and then the packet will be encapsulated in the frame so by adding the ethernet header trailer and then that descends to physical layer and uh, the bits will flow along the communication channel arrives at the bridge so if the bridge is connecting two different uh, networks so i will have two sets of protocols if it is connecting three sets of networks we will have three sets of protocol so this is the protocol uh, of layers of the first network this is the protocol layer of the second network suppose if both the networks are following the same protocols then there is no hardly this relay will have any functionality so it will take the packets and simply replace the header uh, and then forward it and from here it will flow right otherwise for example for for example this is following ieee 802.4 this following 802.5 so i need header conversion so header conversions will take place and that will be done by the relay that will be done by the relay so that is the operation uh, pro, uh, of the bridge in backward learning mode so bridges perform two important functions number one uh, protocol process number one the packet conversions if require packet conversions converting packet from or maybe frame conversions i would say frame conversions if needed to change the frame format from 802.4 to 802.5 conversions okay and the other is uh, the uh, forwarding procedure forwarding procedure or uh, forwarding procedure or algorithm to be followed using hash tables so these are the two so there will be a dedicated process here available which will carry out this activity and there will be a de dedicated procedure here which will do this activity of conversion two important functions are carried out by backward learning bridges so this is all about backward learning bridges next we have to see the spanning tree based uh, bridges how what 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 is spanning tree and why that is needed